My name is Aida Lugo McAllister, author of Aida's Kitchen, Alo Boricua, a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook. I am going to demonstrate how to prepare coquito, coconut eggnog, a recipe from my cookbook. Previously, I uploaded a coquito video with lemon, cinnamon, and vanilla flavors. Today's coquito is our traditional coconut eggnog. You will need an electric blender. Since my electric blender does not have the capacity to hold all of the ingredients, I will blend the coquito in two batches, each using half of the ingredients. The first step is to open two cans of cream of coconut and stir the content to combine the coconut cream and coconut water before pouring into a measuring cup. For the first batch of coquito, we will be using one can of cream of coconut. This is the Goja brand, but you use the brand of your preference. The next step is to separate four egg yolks from the whites using an egg separator. I place the egg separator on top of bowl, which works like a strainer. Crack an egg into it and the egg yolk will remain on top while the white will run into the bowl. Place the egg yolk in a separate bowl. We just completed separating four egg yolks. The two main ingredients for this recipe are cream of coconut and white rum. Therefore, I'm going to give you a little bit of food history. The palm tree with coconuts came from West Africa. The palm tree without coconuts is native to Puerto Rico and known as La Palma Real. The Bacaldi family, Don Facundo, was a Spanish wine merchant who immigrated to Cuba from Spain in 1830 and started producing rum in Cuba. Unfortunately, due to the circumstances in Cuba, the family left the island and started manufacturing rum in the Caribbean. Today, the largest Bacaldi distillery in the world is located in San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is the brand that I use, but you use the brand of your preference. Let's start by adding two egg yolks and three quarter cup of white rum. Cover blender with lid and beat at low speed for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. And now add the remaining ingredients. One can 15 ounces of cream of coconut. One can 12 ounces of evaporated milk. Sometimes I use fat free or low fat evaporated milk. One half teaspoon of vanilla flavoring and one eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Cover blender with lid and beat at low speed for 20 seconds or until all the ingredients are well blended and a creamy texture is formed.
30 seconds of blending, let's check if all the ingredients are thoroughly mixed. Yes, they are. The coquito has a smooth and creamy texture. Repeat this process for the second batch of ingredients. This is the second batch of coquito that we completed blending. Let's pour the coquito into this pitcher. And combine both batches by stirring the ingredients with the mixing plunger. We just finished preparing our traditional coquito. Pour the coquito into several glass bottles. Cover with lid and store in refrigerator for at least two days before serving to allow the flavors to develop fully. I normally shake the bottle of coquito to mix all the ingredients before pouring. Since this drink is very rich, I serve the coquito in small drinking glasses. You can also sprinkle with ground nutmeg on top if you so desire. Since this recipe calls for eggs, any coquito that is not consumed should be stored in the refrigerator and used within seven days. By the way, add the amount of white rum according to your taste. I am ready to taste the coquito. Mmm. It has the right balance of coconut flavors and white rum with a creamy texture. Oh, delicious. I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare traditional coquito coconut eggnog. Thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and click on the cookbook tab. My cookbook is a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and it contains 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned how to cook while living in Puerto Rico. This side is the English version. If you flip the book over, the other side is the Spanish version. Again, thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video.